Hey everybody, welcome back to Big Red ABC, and welcome to Saturday Knife Live, an early edition, because it is the first Saturday of the month. How is everybody doing? Man, let's see, who do we have in the chat today? We got Jason, George French, hello, Rhino stopped in for a little while, thank you so much Rhino, Zach Stuff, yes indeed. Michael, hello, how are you? Little Fit Devil, welcome, welcome, good to have you. Oh, Christopher, we're starting right now, Christopher. I guess you probably asked that a little bit ago, so. <laughs> hey, Tom, how are you guys doing? Z-Man, Cloud, Jason, hello. Jerome, I hope I say that correctly. Jerome, is that how you pronounce that? Thank you for joining very, very much. Oh, yes, Little Fed Devil does go live tonight. Very cool. 9.15 Eastern, so I guess that's 6.15 out here. Very cool. Very cool. Hey, Orange Hat, John, hello, EDC Journey. Welcome. Bad Monkey, hello, hello. Thank you all for joining me. Chris Wolf, Joseph, hello. Kiefer, what's up? Right on. Penny's here. Timbo, very cool. Slick. Goodness gracious. John Evans, hello. Well, thank you guys. Manny, Manny, Michael, Gaglione, hello. Grateful Panic. What's up, John? Ethan, hello. Man, you guys are jumping in on a Saturday afternoon. Really, really appreciate that, guys. Last Rangers here. So's Top Dog and Dane. Everybody's jumping in. Sweet. Right on. Well, yeah, I know, guys. I do the early ones on the first Saturday of every month just because, you know, not everybody can make those later ones. So I want to talk to as many all as possible. So, Casey, what's up, buddy? Glad you could join us. Very, very cool. <laughs> He's here for now. Right on. Very cool. Well, I'm so, so thankful that you are. Guys, we got some pretty cool stuff to talk about today. Um, we'll talk about a few knives, but you know, um, this this episode's going to be pretty community community centric. We'll call it. Yeah, I think we'll call it community centric because uh, I got a little bit to say about that. But hey, Don, how you doing? Welcome, hello, glad to have you. Very very cool, Daniel. Hello. Yes, yes, we just started, so you didn't miss anything. You're here. Yeah, I'm glad my knives got back today, too. That, those two, man, they were they were on a trip. I don't know where they all went, but it took them a month to get to you, but at least it only took them a couple of days to get back, so that's all good. Rusty, Paul H., hello. Zenny, hello, Mateo. Welcome. Well, I hope you guys are having a fantastic weekend. Uh, I know Zach said earlier in the chat that we're actually getting some sunshine here in the Pacific Northwest, which is very, very, very welcome. Uh, I know little fit devils down there in Miami and those type of places. Yeah, we're not quite that lucky. So, <laughs> but hey, we'll take the sun when we can get it. Yes, happy Easter to you, Dane. You betcha it is Easter weekend. So, yes, indeedy, we're going to have a little family, just a little family meal tomorrow. So, Oh, Orange Hat says, on vacation, visiting your cousin in Kentucky. Oh, picked up a SHOT Show exclusive mini freak and mini bug out. Oh, very cool. Sweet, man. Look at what you can find when you're on vacation. Very cool. Oh, you're going to switch to the TV? Right on. All good. Very cool. I'm on the big screen. Yes. Hey, Chad. What's up, bud? Good to see you. I bet it is. I bet it is wonderful down there on, what's that, Marco Island? Very cool. Not 100% sure where that's at. I'll have to look that up on a map. So lots of brigade members in the crowd today. Yep, Zach just threw up the link there. Thank you so much, Zach. Really, really appreciate all of you. And I'm definitely going to touch on that uh, here in just a little bit more about the the brigade and, and just what it's, what it's meant. Uh, over these past few months, guys. Oh, what is up, Zenny? Thank you very much, man. Here's some love for Zenny. Appreciate you, brother. Thank you so much. 
Was David here? Knife Dude's here. I see somebody mentioned David Iverson. Did I miss him? We can't be doing that. Hey, David, you are here. How are you? Naf Sergeant's here. Welcome, welcome. Well, very cool. Well, hey, guys, let's just get it, get it going, and let's start off with a pocket dome. What's everybody carrying today? Let's hear what you guys got, and then I will get into what I am carrying today and what I probably will carry here later on. It's a nice day. Going to get outside, maybe go to Lowe's and get some flowers for those, uh, for the flower beds. We'll just have to see what's going on. All right. John's got the angst. Very good. L-U-D-T for Kiefer. Very cool. Let's see. Civivi Elementum button lock. Nice. Right on, Zach. Pair of three lightweight for Dane. Jason's got the QSP Penguin. Nebu Cloud has Maximum PM2, Spider Co Shaman and the Spidey Chief for Rusty, Damascus Riffle for Zenny, Manix 2 and Spy 27 and a Banter for Z Man, Bad Monkey's got the Stitch and the Two Sun TS 124, Naf Sergeant's got the Resenti Small Nirvana and the Guardian Tactical Recon 040. Wow. Military Survival's got the Endura 4. Very cool. We Malice and the Chavez 229. For Chris. Knife Dude here in the car. Oh, you're going to Virginia. Oh, wow. With your pair of three. Right on. Shots. <laughs> Orange Hat's got the Shot Show exclusive. Vinny Freak. Hmm. Very cool. Right Thor 7. Very cool. Bastinelli Mako. Yes, indeed. For Little Fit Devil. Emma Emma's got the bug out. Hello and welcome, Emma Emma. EWC and a bug out for Grateful Panic, Plains Crafter. Hello, got the Navaja. How do you say that? Castillo, Navaja, Navaja. I don't know how to say that. I'm sorry. <laughs> Penny's got the proper. Andrew, hello, has got the Delica 4. Nice. EDC Journey's got the Wee Kite Fin. TRM Adam, very cool. Oh, let's see. It jumped on me. There we go. David Iverson, what's he got? Spiderco Dialara. Ooh. And the Case Doctor's Knife. I love those Doctor's Knives. Top Dogs. Got the Artisan Cutlery Predator. Ooh, nice. With the Phillips head and the butt of the handle. Huh. Yes, it's a gas station knife. <laughs> All right, Michael Morgan. Joseph Rogers, British Army issued three-piece jackknife. Oh, wow. Oh, Stuart, man. Stuart is so awesome with those gifts. Spider Co. Tenacious from Tom. Very cool. Marlin Spike and Assault 2. Very good, Don. Tiger K4 for Last Ranger. How you doing, bud? Kaiser Dukes. Oh, yeah. I like the Dukes. Tour EDC tool for KC. Oh, uh, let's see. We 620. Did Lisa jump in? Oh, Emma Emma Hyle. Hello. CF Bug Out for Daniel. Four knives today. Holy smokes. Oh, Zenny. All right. I know I'm behind, guys, but I'm reading what everybody's got, so I got to catch up. Hello, Zenny. Thank you very much again, my friend. You are awesome. There's some love for Zenny. 80-20. Oh, Rusty's looking for an 80-20. All right, guys. Rusty's looking for an 80-20. And my goodness. Oh, little fit devil. Oh, wow. Well, thank you very much. Thank you so much for joining the Big Reds Brigade. I greatly appreciate it. Thank you. My goodness. Awesome. Very cool. Thank you so much. And like I said, guys, again, I will be talking about that here in a minute. Let's see. Manny's got the... Oh, the M1 version 4. Nice. Solaris for Slick. Monster Racing. Hello, buddy. Got the Badlands Vagabond and the Tinker. Very cool. Rat 1 for Paul. Nice. 20 CB Bug Out for Gary. Hello, Gary. Welcome. All right. Let's see. Chris is waiting on a PM3. Knife Joy exclusive. Oh, nice, man. Asher Spiro for John. We'll see an Asher here in a minute. Very cool. Sue Chicken, hello, Sue. 
Red Rider Bow Trapper. Oh, yeah, the Red, red Rough Rider Bow Trapper. Yes. I have one of those right next to me, actually. See? See? It's right here. See? Yes, it's right there. All right. Wow, guys. Very, very cool. Yes, thank you, Little Fit Devil, for joining the brigade. And like I said, guys, I'm going to kind of, I want to jump into that and kind of talk just about, well, what you can see on the table for sure. Oh, hey, Mark. Mark's got the Grimzo Norseman. Ethan's got the Kershaw Natrix. Very cool. BH, hey, buddy. The TR Adam. Welcome, welcome. Very cool. Well, guys, as you see on the table in front of you, uh, this was a big surprise for me. Um, well, let's get this guy off the table real quick. We'll get it out of the way, but of course, we do have the Saturday Knife Live official tumbler. Thanks to my good friends at Southern Edge Knife Works. Just remember, guys, anytime you're on southernedgeknifeworks.com, use the code Big Red, save 15% and get $5 flat rate shipping. So thanks so much to them for being so awesome and just great people to work with for sure. So which Asher knife is on the table? We don't have one on the table yet. But we'll talk about one here in a minute. We're going to talk about all the stuff on the table right now. So earlier this week, guys, I got an amazing package in the mail. Well, a couple of amazing packages, actually, because it came in two different packages. Hey, Todd, happy Easter. How are you? Um, I was overwhelmed, to say the least, guys. Um, and it kind of goes into... If you guys watched the video, yeah, it, uh, yeah, <laughs> you got me. Hey, Justin, what's up, bud? OCD for EDC in the house. Uh, yeah, you guys, you guys got me good. Uh, John Grateful Panic put together just this awesome package of stuff that you see on the table, plus some just excellent, amazing letters from you guys. And wow, I was just, I was blown away. I, I was. And it's, it speaks to the community and what you guys do for not only me, but the community as a whole. Oh, thank you very much, Nebby Cloud. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you, Monster. I appreciate it, man. But I, I have to be perfectly honest with you. I mean, guys, this was amazing. I'll show you this right now. This is the Jasmine from Alliance Designs. It's a Ray, Alliance Design. It's a Ray Laconico design collaboration with Alliance. Oh, Zach. Thank you. Thank you so much, Zach. There's some love for Zach. Thank you, brother. Greatly appreciate it. But, I mean, this is just a fantastic knife, guys. It's full titanium. Uh, S35VN blade steel. That drop point blade has just got... And oh, the sound, guys, the sound of this knife. Check this out. And then on the close. Oh, my goodness. That's just, oh. That's just a sweet sounding knife, guys. My goodness. But this is just an amazing, these guys, these are hard to find, guys. I've kind of been looking around a little bit. You guys know I love my Laconico knives. And there you go, Ray Laconico right there. And it's just, it's an awesome, awesome knife. And the fact that John went out and found one, I mean, I don't know how it all played out. So all I know is John kind of orchestrated it. Grateful Panic kind of orchestrated it. And you guys helped out. And it, it was absolutely amazing. So this is, oh, I'm loving this knife, guys. It's, it's. It's definitely, well, I mean, it's obviously just the story and everything behind it. It's very cool what John said. You know, he's like, not only when you carry this knife, are you carrying an awesome knife, but you're carrying a little bit of the community with you. And, you know, that's exactly right. That's exactly right. Hey, Chad, what's up? Oh, heading to Cabela's. Nice. Chad Dixon. Very cool. Have fun, man. It's not an MBK, Red. It's a Alliance Design. It's a collaboration Laconico did with Alliance Design. So, yes, yes, it is a Laconico, but it's a, 
it's an Alliance Design collaboration, not an MBK knife. But man, it's still a Conoco, and that's that's yeah, a beautiful one. And then of course, uh, Michael Morgan. I think he threw all all this stuff in, which was very very cool. I love this little guy. Both of these little knives, this little Kloss titanium knife and this Rough Rider Hawkbill, these are definitely going in my EDC for, you know, working outside and stuff because it's a perfect pruning blade. So I will definitely, definitely be adding these to my outdoor EDC. And of course, just, just little things like this, guys. It's absolutely amazing. You know, it's it's the little things in this beautiful Hank. This Hank is absolutely gorgeous. Look at the backside of that beautiful red material. I just can't thank you all enough. All of you that were involved, just, just know from the bottom of my heart, I am truly, truly appreciative of all of this. Hey, Sue. Hello. Good to see you. So what I kind of wanted to throw on top of that, guys, is... I have to give you a huge shout out. Uh, what's that? Oh, Zenny. <laughs> Thank you, brother. Thank you very much. Give Zenny some more love, man. That's awesome. Thank you, brother. Um, and you know what? It has to go a little bit there with these, with the super chats and stuff like that. Guys, you know, well, you probably don't know. But that's what I'm going to tell you. <laughs> um, you guys have been keeping this channel going the past probably three to four months. I, I, I no lie. Um, the channel memberships, you guys just watching the videos. I know my, my, my videos are monetized. They have ads. I understand that. The super chats, the channel membership, all the members of Big Red's Brigade, you guys have been keeping this channel going. Um, I don't know. We haven't, you know, I know a lot of people lost their jobs and stuff and we went through some rough times with COVID and that's just terrible. You know, um, definitely I'm not in that situation. I'm blessed. Thank you. Uh, but hey, Ordok, how you doing? But as you guys know, I was I was funding the channel mostly with, um, my overtime, you know, that was a great, that was a big chunk of what I used for the channel to be able to do all the material. Oh, thank you, Jason. Thank you so much, brother. And, you know, we haven't worked overtime in probably a good four to five months. So literally, guys, you have been keeping this channel going. You really have. So I just want to say thank you so very much for all your support for everything you do um whether you just watch videos whether you join the live streams and you super chat whether you're a channel member uh brigade member yes thank you thank you so very much peter hello how you doing buddy hope you're uh hope you're well on the way to recovery oh we'll tell christine we said hi as well so Oh, man. Z-Man, thank you. Thank you so much. You guys are absolutely fantastic. Thank you, brother. So, yes, just, just know that I am, you know, this was amazing. Don't get me wrong. This was amazing. But everything you guys have done for the past four months have been, I mean, it's from the bottom of my heart. Thank you. Brad, what is up, buddy? If you guys didn't see earlier today, I launched my uh, launch. I don't know if that's a good word. I uh, posted. That's a better word. I posted my channel chat with Brad. So, oh yeah, mild mannered EDC. That was an amazing. It was just a fantastic, fantastic chat. Um, I got a hold of him because you know we hadn't talked in a while. Brad and I just hadn't sat down and had a good conversation for a while. And I, was, I got a hold of him and I said, hey, man, you know, you want to just sit down and chat? We'll do a channel chat and we'll just have a good time. And he's like, yeah, let's do it. So oh, Christine's at a red light so she can say hi now. Hello, Christine. How are you? The lovely and wonderful Christine has 
joined us. Thank you so very much. So, oh, hey, Joseph. Thank you, my friend. But yeah, um, I just, I, I can't say enough, guys. I greatly, greatly appreciate it. Oh, thank you, Zach. Hashtag Zach Attack. He's killing it with those links. I know you guys were talking. He's the master mod, and he most certainly is because he is, I don't know what I'd do without him. I greatly appreciate it. So thank you guys so very much. So what are you guys doing this weekend? Let me know if you guys are doing anything special this weekend. Let's chat for a little bit. Are you guys doing okay? Do you, I mean, not everybody celebrates Easter. I understand that. But, uh, oh, the noble and magnificent Christine. I like that. That's good. Oh, Rusty. Oh, thank you so much, man. I greatly appreciate that, brother. Yes, Zach is the man. The mod boss. Yes, he did. So, what's who's got big plans for this weekend? Ooh, fishing in a lake house. Nice. Nice. Barbecue tomorrow. Very cool. Egg hunt and barbecue right on, Z-Man. Lisa are finishing the basement. Ooh, that sounds like a project. Ooh, as little as possible. Right on, Planes Crafter. I hear that. Installing a new wall and door in your aunt and uncle's basement. Right on, Don. Very good of you. Celebrating with the daughter. All right, next. Very good. Oh, you just left the North Cal Knife Show. Oh, very cool, Peter. Right on. I bet that was fun. Met up with some people, I'm betting. Serbia. Oh, wow, Dane. Very cool. Nice. Nice, KC. Doo -doo. Going to the beach? Oh, nice. Right on, Timbo. Playing with a few puppies. What's that? Puppy winter? 11-week-old German Shepherd. Oh, nice, Todd. Very cool. Daughter's birthday today. Oh, very cool. Right on, Brad. Awesome. <laughs> Zenny. Right on, man. Thank you so much. You are awesome, brother. I appreciate you so much, man. Thank you very much. There's some love for Zenny. Oh, man. Very cool. Yeah, I think we're just, uh, like I said, oh, top dog. <laughs> oh, top dog, man. Thank you so much. Yeah, I got it. Man, I was holding it together. I, I was holding I had to call time out a couple of times during that. So <laughs> during the, when I did the unboxing, I did. So I had to. Oh, Donkey Dave, is it bedtime? Oh, yeah, it probably is, because usually when I'm doing it, you're just getting up, So, or at least you get up to watch SKL, which, man, that's so awesome. Oh, the sun for the first hike. Now that's cool, Rad. Right on. That's awesome. That family time is, family time is so special. Hey, Evil E, what's up? Running amok while pillaging a village? <laughs> of course you would, Tom. <laughs> <laughs> Very funny. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> very, very cool. So, yes, indeed. Yeah, we're just going to hang out, have a small, we're going to have a small family get together, you know, some ham and that type of stuff. So, very cool. It's all good. But, hey, since Little Fit Devil is here, I'm going to give her a shout out real quick. She sent us some awesome swag to light up those skl swag bags so thank you very much little fit devil i greatly appreciate it don't forget guys little fit devil goes live tonight i believe it's at 9 15 eastern is what it said please correct me if i'm wrong but thank you very much little fit devil i am so thankful that you sent those in and yes there is one in today's swag bag of course so very cool stickers i love that i love how the the f in the fit is the knife. That's cool. I dig it. Very cool. But thank you so much for sending those. 
It's greatly appreciated. My swag bags are kind of, I don't know. I think they've become pretty popular. You guys tell me. Yep, live at 9.15 Eastern. Very cool. Very cool. So you guys tell me, are my are my swag bags popular? I try. I try to pack them together. So hey, Bell's Blades. Chicago, no, it's not midnight for once. <laughs> no, it's not. Very cool. Oh, three pounds for eight bucks? Oh, I bet. Yeah, right on. I like ham. I like a lot of things, but I definitely like ham. So cool. Right on. Well, let's see. What else should we talk about? We talked about the stuff on the table. Let's take a look at this little guy. We talked about it. We kind of mentioned it a little earlier. But I did say I had an Asher knife to check out. So let's see here. Here is the Asher Nomad. Asher Nomad, you got G10 on the show side. Is that, oh, let me see. Where's my, where's it at? Oh, there it is. Ooh. I lost it. Stainless on the clip side. S35 VN. Dual thumb stud deployment. Frame lock. Really a nice, small EDC carry knife. I really like it. Uh, it's really pretty well done. It's a good build to it. The action on it snaps right out. Rockets out there, man, with those thumb studs. That detent is really really dialed in for that detent absolutely jumps out there now this is kind of i don't know if you saw i did the did the review of the spiro here a while back and they're very similar very similar oh let's see here what do we got here what's edc journey say Oh, there you go. EDC Journeys is looking for some channel swag for his giveaway. Oh, very cool. Right on, man. Very cool. So if you guys got channels and stuff, EDC Journeys is looking for some swag. Sure. We could do that. What did a Z-Man, what'd you do? You writ died a the Luna. Oh, very cool. Nice. Very cool. But the Spiro and the Nomad are very... They're shaped very similar and stuff. Hey, Quentin, how you doing? Um, this obviously is the frame lock version, and the Spiro is pretty much the liner lock. So very similar size, shape, build. You know, obviously, one's a frame lock, one's a liner lock. Both of them are really nice knives. Oh, we'll definitely be talking about that, Jason. But yeah, Zach, go ahead and throw that up. You can throw that up anytime you want to. The for Grom's video, that's definitely on our list to talk about. But very, it's a pretty nice little knife. Really digging it. It carries carries very well. It's nice, slender. Um, it, it's a pretty well. I not one hundred percent sure on who's building these for him. I should have asked, and I probably will. But it's done pretty darn well. Well, we're just talking about knives, Quentin. But yeah, Zach threw up Grom's giveaway. We'll definitely be talking about that here in a minute. But, and like I said, Zach, you can throw that sucker up as many times as you want. So, all righty, bud. Oh, sweet, date night. Very cool. All right, buddy, have fun, man. Enjoy that time of mama. That's the, the, take advantage of it when you can, brother. Very cool. We'll talk to you later, brother. Bye, Justin. Bye-bye. So, but yeah, a very cool knife. I'm, I'm, I'm digging it. I'm digging, carrying it. And yeah. Daniel, hello. Are the screws recessed? Well, I should say... You gotta watch my review. No. Um, I do like the fact that this piece right here, that screw is recessed very well. It really is. Um, I kind of wished it was a G it was black G10 and a black screw. I think that would look just a little bit better. 
these kind of these stainless plates, they just kind of stand out a little bit, you know? But anyway, it's done well though. The 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 piece fits in well, the blank fits in well, the screw is recessed, so yeah, it's done, it's done well. Now on the pocket clip, they're not quite fully recessed. They're close, but doggone it. You can see there they stick up just a little bit. There they are. There you can. Just a little bit. So they try. At least they use panhead screws and they're trying. Almost. Almost. I definitely give them points for getting there. Oh, thank you, Zenny. Oh, thank you, Shredder. Oh, man. Welcome to the Shredder. Hello, hello. Glad to have you. There you go. There's some love for Zenny. Here's some love for the Shredder. Thank you so very much. It's excellent, excellent to have you. Please help me welcome the Shredder, guys. Very cool. Glad you could make it. Your review put my review put them on the radar. No regrets. Oh, well, very cool. Spiro and Sentry. Oh, very cool. Right on. Very cool, John. I'm glad I could help you find a knife you like. I mean, that's kind of, you know, that's what we hope we can do. Find you a knife you can like or potentially steer you away from a knife that, you know, you might not like. So it's a double-edged sword. It certainly is. But welcome, Shredder. Good to have you. And thank you very much for your donation. Well, Quentin, when is the giveaway normally? It's normally at the end. When the end is, is when the end is. It could be a half hour from now. It could be 45 minutes from now. But it's at the end. That's where it is. So, as always. Hey, JB. Oh, you're, hey, you're setting up your new laptop? Oh, you got it already? Wow. Oh, very cool. Yes. Yes. I know if you watched... Uh, KC's Week in Review, um, he was very nice and asked me to do, he does these Weeks in Review every Friday, which are awesome. I think that's a great idea. Uh, but he asked me to take part in a Month in Review with him, which I was very, very happy to do. I, I yes, thank you so much for asking. And we tried to record one the other day on his phone, and it didn't, uh, it didn't quite go so well, but that's okay. Because you know what? We've all been there. So we'll definitely get her taken care of and we'll get it going. So definitely. What did I do? I don't know. What did you do? Let's see, and days. I don't know. Boo. <laughs> I know, man. I know. We've been there. We've all been there, brother. Hey, what's up, William? No, it's not nighttime. It's daytime. It's the first Saturday of the month. That's where we're at. Uh-oh, Zach's handing out toilet paper, so be careful. Oh, God. Hire me for birthdays in the grass skirt? I don't know. Oh, man. Oh, thank you, Sue. Thank you very much. But, okay, let's talk about... Zach threw up the link here a little bit ago, but let's talk about that. Yes, we are definitely going to talk about our good friend Zeb, his dad, in the motorcycle accident here a while back. Um, got busted up pretty, pretty bad, we'll say. Um, but our good friend Grom is doing a fundraiser raffle over on his channel. There you go. Zach just threw up the link again. And yeah, Grom, absolutely fantastic. Grom put together uh, an awesome package. And then Zeb just sent him, Grom just posted a video of all the stuff Zeb sent him to add to the giveaway. So there you go. There's Zeb's GoFundMe. Um, Please go check out Grom's video. Give him some love. Oh, hey, Katie. <laughs> oh, thank you. <laughs> right on. Very cool. Very cool. So glad you like it. 
So yes, the the giveaway video from by Grom is up. He's doing a fundraiser for every five dollars you donate to the GoFundMe. Um, send your receipt to Grom, and you will get an entry into the the raffle. So pretty similar to the ones I've done in the past, and it's very very um very cool. Very cool what Grom is doing. And of course, Zeb being Zeb, you know he's going to add on to it. So, yeah, it's just so awesome. So, so awesome. So, like, there again, man, it's the community. The community just comes together over and over and over. And I'm, it just, it's amazing to see. And it's, yeah, it's very heartwarming. And you guys are awesome. He's not here. Grom is not here. I know he said, he told me here, he sent me an email a while back and said that he might miss the next couple weeks of SKLs, but that's fine. He's got stuff to do, but we're definitely going to get the word out and try to help him, you know, do some good for the, for the world. And that's, guys, you know Zach, hashtag DSKFS, do something kind for someone. I mean... It's, it's fantastic. You know, what? why can't we? Why can't we do just something a little bit, a little bit every day? You know, hold the door for somebody. You know, somebody sneezes, say bless you, or, you know, Gesundheit or whatever. Just exactly. Just one little thing. One little, you never know what one little act of kindness, you know, can absolutely change somebody's day. So, and I'll tell you what, we have a kind of a DSKFS story of ours this morning. Um, I got up this morning. Uh, Nelly was up quite a lot earlier than I was, and she went for a walk with Bo, as she usually does. And when I got up, she was gone. And because she got her first COVID shot this morning, she had a real early, I think it was at nine. So she was in line waiting for her COVID shot. So, oh, thanks, Shredder. Thank you very much. Um, and she was gone. I got up, and I found these, I had these real weird messages on my phone. It was like, hey, I found your wife's phone. Can you get in contact with me? And I'm like, what is going on here? And I just, that was really odd. So I'm like, okay. Well, luckily, she has a, a work phone as well. Yes, she did lose her phone while she was out walking Bo this morning. And somebody found it. And I guess the way her phone's set up, it has emergency contacts. So that's cool. So, yes, I had a message. I contact, you know, I, I texted the message back and I was like, okay. And then I, I quick texted Nellie and I'm like, hey, on her work phone, I was like, hey, is this real? What's going on? And she's like, yes, I lost my phone this morning and I couldn't find it. Somebody picked it up and they returned it to her. She's got her phone back. So that is absolutely awesome. Little things like that. You know, that's kind of a big thing, honestly. <laughs> that's kind of a big thing. So absolutely, just, yeah, very lucky. This is very lucky, Evilly. Well, that's just it, though. It's kind of funny. Um, out here, out here in the Pacific Northwest, I don't know. It just seems kind of funny that if it's below sixty-eight degrees, nobody's out walking on the on the the trails here that they have because it's too cold. And if it's over seventy-two degrees, they're not out there because it's too hot. I don't know what it is. There's like a four-degree window, <laughs> but anyway, no. She and the person that found the phone is someone that she's seen and potentially talked to out on the the trails before. So it was just very, very, very lucky. So, so it, it's just awesome. Had a guy do the same thing with your phone. Oh yeah. Very good, Jason. That's awesome. Triple cheeseburger. Whoa. Where'd that come from? I want a triple cheeseburger. No, I don't. I really don't. <laughs> oh, well, <laughs> well, yeah, that hasn't happened in a while, Grateful Panic. But yeah, that that was a thing up here for a little while. 
here up on the the hood or not the hood canal but the straits they just find random feet <laughs> that washed up on shore that's a little disconcerting so so yeah exactly joseph you know you put a little bit of good out in the world and you know hopefully it does come back to you you know that's the main idea i just i don't we don't put it out into the world expecting it to come back to us but it's always nice that it does so yeah uh, did the same thing for someone if you, uh, yeah, that's awesome. So I guess, that, yeah, the emergency contact thing, I guess, really worked out so they could, uh, I guess, cause her phone's locked, but I guess there's some way that you can get into the emergency contacts for that. If, you know, obviously if she was out there and hurt and wasn't able to call herself or, you know, talk and tell them the code or whatever that they could do something like that. And they got a hold of me and they got a hold of my son. Those are her emergency contacts. So that was really cool. <laughs> Easy, man. <laughs> it's just funny, dude. It's funny. Because if you go out there and it's 70 degrees, there's a lot of people out there. But if you go out there and it's like below 68, 67, the number drops. <laughs> or if you go out there and it's over 72, the number drops. And I have a I have one of the guys I work with. He is the epitome of it, man. We'll be working outside, and it's like, it's beautiful. You know, it's like 75 degrees, just a gorgeous day. And he's like, man, that's a little hot out here today. And I'm like, dude, it's 75. <laughs> so, I, so, trust me, I am super climatized. I am, I am definitely in the Pacific Northwest climate. Yes. Um, I go home. I go back to Nebraska in the summertime. Whew. It's 95 and 85, 90% humidity. I about die. So, oh my goodness. So, yes, I am definitely climatized. So, I am I'm right there with you, brother. It's we've been here for what, 22 years now. So, yeah. It's a thing. And I'm definitely part of it. So, <laughs> use your phone, you just use smoke signals. <laughs> Oh, I bet, David. Oh, yeah, that sounds so good. We've had a bunch. We've had a bunch of sunny days here. It hasn't been overly warm, though. I mean, it's been. We've been getting up into the upper fifties, which is nice. Which is nice. Uh, but we've had a little bit of a breeze, so it's kind of kept that chill there. But trust me, like I said, uh, maybe after this, I think we might take a trip to Lowe's and get a little, uh, get some seeds. Hopefully get some flower seeds and maybe get them planted and stuff. We actually had a couple of frosts here earlier this week. So we're not out of the woods completely. So, but yeah, you know me. I love to fish. I love my knives and I love to play in the flower beds. So, oh, Quentin's 11, 11 wow, Edmonton, Alberta, it was 11 degrees. Whew, ew, no, 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 no. Oh, you're on your laptop now. Oh, that's awesome, Casey. Very cool. Very cool. Chimney fires are scary. Oh, my goodness. Yes, they are. We had one in our house when I was growing up. We had a chimney fire. 63, that's good. I don't know what it is outside right now. I haven't been in my truck. That usually tells me uh, what the temperature is. I haven't been in my truck yet today. Beefer, happy Easter to you, my friend. Thank you so much for joining us. Very cool. The Washington weather is bipolar. Yes, it is. I, I would agree. 95 today. Oh, you must be in Arizona. If I remember correctly, you're in Arizona, aren't you, Eva Lee? Because that's what my brother said earlier this week. It's been already been up into the mid to upper 90s down there. Whew. Oh, I got you beat there, Casey. We've already mowed twice. Yeah, that's the one thing about that's the one thing about up here is if it dries out enough, you have to mow. You just have to, or the grass is gonna get too tall and it's just crazy. So phones are phones are today's guns. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. That's pretty true. <laughs> oh, 92 C Lemansky. Oh man. So yeah, you're in Phoenix. Yeah, he's in Casa Grande, so he's just a little south of you. So, yeah, he said it's been really, really warm down there already. So, that's crazy. <laughs> I 
You haven't seen your yard in three weeks? Oh, I hope it's not for snow. Glad you could join us, see? Tall grass and grass, yeah, tall grass makes grass skirts. They certainly do. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh, that's the other thing I was gonna say, guys, is I know I've got the stickers. They came in. So I just gotta figure out how I'm gonna give them out. That's my biggest thing. I gotta figure out how I'm going to yeah, sleep. Yeah, the grass needs to sleep. It, I don't think it ever sleeps here. Um, I got to figure out how I'm going to disseminate those stickers. I think I'm going to go through uh, the channel members right now. My sticker game is strong. I try. I try. Uh, they do. I got one right here. I got them. They came in. I don't know if I... Have I showed you guys? I think I showed you. They did. They came in. So I got to... I got to disseminate... I got to figure out how I'm going to get them out to people. Because right now I've got 150, so... What's up, Reaper? What's up, brother? Glad you stopped by and say hi, man. But yes, I have sent a couple out already because I had stuff going out. So... I know you guys want them, and, you know, I'll try to get them out as soon as I can. Yeah, I don't know about that. The, the word sexy in me, I don't know if that works. I don't think that goes together. <laughs> so, I'll figure it out, <laughs> and I'll get them out. I'll hear you, Slick. Yeah, I don't know, man. Um, email me. That's the email me, Slick. We'll see. You know, I, I think I'm gonna try to get them out to the. So if you if you guys here are your channel members, um, hit me up. Shoot me a message. Um, email me, Instagram, whatever. You know, however, what's easier, whatever is easier for you. Uh, BigReadyDC at gmail.com. There you go. Thank you, Zach. Um. Yeah, hit me up, guys, and I'll see what I can do. I know you guys, there's a lot of you are going to want them, so I ask that you please be patient with me. That's the only thing that I ask is just if you want one, I'll get one out to you, but please be patient. Five bucks a piece and put it towards the channel. Well, you know, trust me, that, that's been discussed. I mean, you know, that's not really – I don't really like doing that, you know, I don't want to, I really don't like charging you guys for stuff like that. I mean, I know, uh, you know, I can do that. I'll give you one for a beer, Z-Man, without a doubt. Um, You want a body pillow? <laughs> oh, my God. You want a body pillow made from that picture. Oh, you poor, poor man. <laughs> What's up, Gino? <laughs> Glad to have you. Oh, I know you guys want them. And like I said, just, uh, you know, hit me up on Instagram. Hit me up through email. Um, And like I said, but just please be patient. You're snuggy. <laughs> You're terrible. You're terrible. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> hey, what's up with that, Casey? Easy, easy. <laughs> oh my goodness that's too funny <laughs> so i'll get them out to you guys i just yeah please please oh yeah oh start the merch <laughs> oh my goodness i don't know if i want that my face that big on anything yeah i don't know <laughs> is the grass worn like a kilt see now funny you should say kilt because nelly's trying to been get me trying to been getting me to get into a kilt for a long time. So I got in the grass skirt. So I don't know. I suppose I should probably get a kilt, huh? I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Need a drink after that, though. I would rock a kilt. Hey, you're just on Nelly's side. <laughs> 
you already talk, you guys already talked me into the grass skirt. I might as well get a kilt now, right? I don't know about bagpipes. I do like bagpipe music, but I under I, from what I understand, they're kind of hard to learn how to play. Oh, Rusty wants to see me in a kilt. Oh my goodness. I that's just it, Don. I'm not sure what my family colors are because there's been some changes in my family. Oh yeah, there's a place in Seattle that does make those Utila kilts for sure, Penny. I can't remember the name the name of the company right off the top of my head. But but yeah, that's one way to do it, Manny. Oh, Manny, you're a channel member. You're a channel member, man. You don't have to send me anything. Uh, that's the just hit me up, guys. In like I said, Instagram or or email and I'll get them out to you. Like I said, just please be patient with me. Greatly, greatly appreciate it. <laughs> you guys are terrible. I love you. Uh, the only one who don't. Oh, yeah, it is 4321. Yes, yes, it is. It's the countdown. It's the countdown day. It is 4321 today. 4321. Yes, it is. The, a Hawaiian shirt and a kilt. Ooh, that's a lot of color and a lot of clash going on there. Well, see, that's just it. I'm not Scottish. I'm primarily German. So I'm not sure. I suppose at some point there was some, some probably wasn't called a kilt, but yeah, Utila kilts. There you go. Is that, is that the name of it? Okay. Well, that makes sense. <laughs> hmm. Oh, my goodness. Oh, J.B. McLeod. <laughs> oh, we've definitely gone on the... We're off the wagon now with the kilt. Oh, you guys are killing me. Oh, you know Nellie's going to watch this, and I'm just going to get a look tomorrow. Like, okay, now we need a kilt. So, no, no, let's... Okay, the stilettos. Now, come on now. <laughs> Lederhosen, there you go. <laughs> oh, hey, TPK. Oh, hello. Welcome. Grass skirt or kilt? Yes, please. <laughs> right on. Yeah, yeah, it's me too, Rusty. Me too. Primarily German, though. Oh, you like the bagpipes and the ACDC songs? Yeah. Fishnets? No. <laughs> no fishnets. No, I, I draw the line at grass skirts and kilt. No heels, no fishnets, no coconut bras. That's a little too far. <laughs> Very cool. All right, let's talk about another knife. We definitely went, went down a rabbit hole there, but that's fun. That's what makes it fun, right? Thank you so much for coming, joining us, TPK. It's good to see you. Minden, Germany, huh? Oh, nice. That's TPK's territory? Yes, it is. You're right. Heels, fishnets, coconut bra. You can you can have that. That's I, I don't want to hone in on TPK. That's TPK's territory. That's right. I don't wanna I don't wanna jump in on that. You know, I'll stick with the skirt and the, the kill. <laughs> Uh, do I prefer Lowe's, Home Depot, or Menards? Well, you know, we don't have Menards out here. That's one, that's definitely one I miss from the Midwest, but, um, most of the time it's Lowe's. I mean, I go to Home Depot from time to time, but most of the time I do go to Lowe's. So, no, I'm not crazy about snow, Quentin. I'm not crazy about snow. But here we go. One more. We got one more knife to talk about. This is the Steel Wheel Nutcracker. Very interesting knife. I'm digging checking this one out. Of course, it's got red accents. So you know that is going to... Oh, yes. Thank you, Zach. Thank you for throwing up the link to TPK's uh, channel. TPK now has a channel, guys, on YouTube. So very, very cool. Make sure you go check her channel out. Lots of great people here today. Lots of good channels. 
Always appreciate it. Now, yeah, I do too, Casey. I'm, I am enjoying it. I like the blade shape. Uh, it's great for great rope knife for work, for sure. Um, you got a nice belly, that sheep's foot blade. Definitely, definitely works for rope. And that's a, that's a big plus in my book, for sure. Um, pretty darn comfortable. Ergos are good. N690 on this one. So a little bit of different blade steel. They went away from the D2 and went with N690. So that's awesome. That's a good thing. I know every, a lot of people have the D2 fatigue. So whenever we see something different, that's really nice. Um, overall, guys, it's a pretty solid knife. Pretty solid for sure. Action is pretty darn good. Now, it does have one. Oh, what am I missing? <laughs> um, let's see. Yeah, we don't have Menards around here. We have a uh, tractor supply, but that's more farm than, uh, hey, Scott, what's up? Does who have a channel, Clinton? TPK has a channel, Last Ranger, EDC Journey, Zach Stuff, uh, Little Fit Devil. Who else was here? Therapeutic Edge, Women Carry Knives. Do I have a channel? Yes, you're on it right now. <laughs> you, you are on the live stream on my channel right now. Yes, indeedy. Big Red EDC. That's where you're at, buddy. You're here. More YouTube comment or content coming soon from TPK. Excellent. Excellent. But yes, indeed. Very, very comfortable knife, guys. I'm, I'm digging it. It does have one tiny issue. Tiny. Hey, Rodney, good to see you, buddy. Um, the detent is a little, eh. You know, I mean, if you try, yeah, you can fail it. But there you go. Now, I don't know if you just saw that, but the blade is heavy enough that, I mean, now that wasn't very much at all. It was slow. It was sluggish, but it did come all the way open. Um, if you want that good quick snap, you do have to give it a pretty good flip. But overall, it's not too bad. I mean, there's a lot of knives out there that if you try, they'll fail. But that blade is pretty heavy. So, I mean, you got pretty good stock on that. Look at this blade. So let's measure it. Let's see what it is, actually. It is... .15, almost .16. So if you got some thick stock. You got some thick stock. All right. People subbing TPK. Very cool. Get TPK some subscribers. That's cool, guys. Right on. Thanks for doing that, guys. But overall, you know, it's not bad. You give it a good flip. It's coming open. So I, I am, I try, eh, you know, it works. It works. But that's definitely a thing. So if that's something that bothers you, you know, keep note of it. But there again, see that blade was so heavy that I didn't get a good flip and it did still come open. So, you know, give and take. It's what you... What you like, what you don't like. If it bothers you, then... Oh, what do we got here? You think you got a fake bug out? It's very good. Well, you know... Yeah, I mean, I've heard of it happening. I've heard of there being fake bug outs out there. And, you know, I would hope that I could, you know, spot one right off the bat. Um, I think I would have to take a, a real hard look at it. So that's just one thing, guys. When you're buying um, knives on eBay and, and stuff like that, I don't know where you got it. I'm not sure where you got the knife. So, you know, this is just me speaking hypothetically or whatever. When you guys are buying knives, you know, I try to buy from a reputed, reputable detailer. Re huh, reputable retailer. Those are the words I was looking for. Um, you know, somebody I know, uh, that type of thing. So, you know, 
just it's kind of one of those buyer beware situations, unfortunately. Oh, there you go. Oh, right on, John. John Wee, 1999. Okay. John W. E. 1999. Very cool. Thanks for sharing that, John. That does help. Believe it or not, that does help uh, tremendously. It really, really does. You know, because sometimes uh, people's screen names are different on YouTube than they are on Instagram. And, you know, like if I have a, if I have a winner, like of a, for a, you know, I do a giveaway or something and I have a winner here. I try to find them on Instagram, but if it's just a name like, you know, like you said, your name's John Evans. Well, there's several John Evans on Instagram, you know, so I don't know how to look, but I greatly appreciate you sharing that, man. Oh, let's see. Before I go, let me use bigger plan to say, oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, please go check out EDC Journeys channel as well. It's what we're here for. Spread the love and spread the word. Yeah, not a problem at all. A915, what's up? Very cool. Very cool. So glad to have you. Glad you guys joining me on this Saturday afternoon. I understand you could probably be doing lots of other things, but it's super, super cool that you guys join me today. And like I said before, guys, I greatly, greatly your name is John Doe. <laughs> Greatly appreciate you guys and everything, all the love and support you guys show the channel. Trust me, it is very, very much appreciated. So very cool. Oh, is OCD? Is he out? Oh, where is he at? All right. He's clean and ready for action. Very good. Very good. Pudding. <laughs> John. Hey, Mark, what's up? There's another channel for you, Mark Kaufman. Um, actually, Mark and I are going to be setting up to do a channel chat here. So uh, keep your eyes open for that. We're going to do one. We're going to record a, a channel chat here in a bit. I think what next weekend, I think we're set up to do that. So you'll be seeing him and I'll definitely be getting with a lot of, I got a couple other ones I'm working on setting up. So Definitely, definitely we'll be doing some uh, more channel chats and getting those out there. Those are so much fun, guys. It's so much fun uh, just talking with y'all. <laughs> I, I want to do one with TPK, but she doesn't talk in her videos, so I don't know. Y'all have to talk her into it, maybe. So, yes. Yeah, next weekend, Mark, for sure, man. It's going to be good. Looking forward to it, man. Looking forward to it. So, hey, Lisa. Hello. Oh, thank you. They were, they're a lot of fun. They are so much fun. I did one with Nebby Cloud. And I've tried, I've tried to keep it with channel, you know, smaller channels, kind of help them get some recognition. Now, I've gone, I did one with Mild Mannered, so I might have to branch out. I haven't done one with Zach yet. And I know you guys are like, why haven't you done one with Zach yet? I know, I know, I know. So I might have to get Zach on here and him and I'll just have a chat. So, oh, you're pondering a voice reveal. So very good, very good. Okay, okay. Well, if you decide to, just keep me in mind because I would love to do a channel chat with you. So, hey, OSK, how you doing? I know, right? I know, Zach. I know. I know. I know. So I should just branch out. You know, we're all about the community, right? So we should just branch it out to everybody, right? So we'll have to do that. We'll have to do that. <laughs> A good scrubbing. Hey, Jixo, what's up? Very cool. Well, I tell you what, guys, you guys have been so generous to spend some time with me on this Saturday afternoon. How about we get a, do a give? I know for some of you, it's probably evening and it's probably dinner time right around there. So you know what? Let's do a giveaway and I'll let you guys get on with your day. How's that? Do I do chats with people from Instagram? Um, I haven't yet. I'll put it that way. I haven't yet. 
but it's definitely not out of the realm. We'll just put it that way. It's kind of just evolving kind of all on its own, to be perfectly honest with you. So we'll move this stuff out of the way, and we'll do a giveaway. So let's see here. I guess I need a piece of paper so I can write some stuff down. <laughs> he says he's reputable. <laughs> nice. <laughs> yes, here comes the giveaway. Yes, indeedy. So let's see. Well, I'll show you what you guys are going to win for today. Of course, we got some swag. We've got all sorts of swag. We got one of these Journey Tool Company flight tags. Yes, indeedy. More swag. We have a traditionalpocketknives.com pen. It's the last pen I have, so whoever wins that, you win in the last one that I got. And then, of course, we have the swag bag. Yes, indeedy. We got some Zach stuff, some hashtag DSKFS. We got some Big Red, Saturday Night Live. Of course, um, I can neither confirm nor deny that there may be a hula skirt sticker in here, maybe. I don't know for sure. Possibly. <laughs> um, we got a little Fit Devil. We got some TPK. Who else? We got some Last Ranger. Um, some OCD for EDC. Um, I'm trying to think of all the people that are in the chat right now that have swag in here. Um, let's see. Who else? Who else is here that I have swag in here before? There's Finch. Obviously, you can see some Finch. There's some key bar, more Smoky Mountain, lots of good stuff. Lots of good stuff. So, yes, indeedy. Uh, yeah, Little Fit Double, she was here. I'm not, I haven't seen anything recently. I could have just missed her, but yeah, she was here earlier. So, definitely. Also, what do we got? How about a flashlight? Guys, I love these. I love giving these things away. Super, super little flashlight. The Olight i3e EOS. Fantastic little keychain light. Um, I'd, give away, I'd give away one on every giveaway if I could. I like them that much. So definitely, definitely worth it. Very cool. And I don't know if Shredder is still here, but they were so nice and generous and donated this to the channel. So we're going to give the Shredder Knife Reviews a little bit more love. Say thank you so very much to Shredder. But we are going to give away this off-grid knives hoglet. Oh, Jake, what's up? Well, you're here for the giveaway, so hey, you know. So this is a pretty cool little knife. It's a fun little knife. I don't know if you guys saw me. I got at some uh, fatwood with it. Great little fatwood knife. Um, just a little camp knife. Light duty. Oh, yeah. Just a very cool little cleaver. So much fun. Yes, and this comes to us courtesy of Shredder Knife Review. So thank you so very much, Shredder, for your awesome, for donating this to the channel. He said, do what you will with it. So we're going to spread some love from Shredder and give that away today. So as always, guys, uh, once the start comes up on the screen from Zach, once, he, once I say go ahead, he'll put the start up on the screen, and I will give you a number range. You will guess one number. One number only. And I'll give you the spread once the start comes up on the screen. Closest without going over will win. My screen is the official screen. Of course, I will ask my moderators for their agree or disagree. But mine is the official. So if there's any uh, dispute at all, mine is what, we'll, what we go with. So... And I said closest without going over. I think that's it. I think that's it. 
So let me see. I got to think of a number here. What should I put? What should we do? How many we got? All right. We got 76. So let's do, let's do this to this. And what's the number I should use? I should use, yeah, what's the number? Yeah. Oh, let's see, Gino, it's, no, I'm not going to do that. Oh, let's see. Let's do, let's do this. That's a good number. That's a good number. All right. So I have my number written down. It's so funny you guys made that and called it the BPEX. <laughs> That's so funny. <laughs> I like it. That's good, though. That was very cool. That's awesome. And it's also very cool that you guys started that. And I'll tell you in a minute, Knife Dude. Um, it's very cool that you guys started that. And, oh, we put the start up. Oh, okay. My bad. Uh, 400 to 550. I didn't see Zach put the start up. <laughs> My bad, guys. So there you go. There's your start. 400 to 550. That is your spread. One guess, one guess only, closest without going over, will be our winner. So that's okay. Sorry, Zach. I didn't see you put it up. It's all good. The slicks will count because there was already one up there. So it's all good. So let's see. Oh, got some good guesses going on. They're jumping out. They're jumping out. Nice. Nice. All good. Got some good guesses going. Very good. Very good. 400 to 550. A little low, John. A little low. One guess. One guess only, please. Oh, you're good, Slick. You're all good. You're in. No worries. Yes. Good luck to everyone for sure. Good luck. Good. Got some good prizes going here. Ooh, Zach threw out a Zach threw out an Omaha band. No, that's 311. Never mind. <laughs> yes, stand by that number. Stand by that number for sure. Oh, should Zenny? I don't uh, I should. Let me see. Yeah, you're good, man. Everybody's good. Everybody's good. No worries. Yeah, you're all good. Thank you, Zach. Yeah, everybody's good. Yes, 311. <laughs> yeah, I know. I saw 411. I was like, wait a minute. It's 311. Never mind. Oh, got to love this old brain. It doesn't work too good sometimes. <laughs> Oh, uh, let's see. Good guesses. Oh. Well, Zach, I will go ahead and shoot you the number. So you can go ahead and help me real quick. Let me double check because talk about old brain. Okay, that's what it was. <laughs> wow. Wow. So make sure you get your guesses in, guys. We're going to be closing it down pretty soon. Be for God. Here's in. Um, let's see. There, I'll send Zach the number because he already made his guess. So John got his in. Very good. 400 to 550 is our range. Yes, indeedy. Four hundred to five fifty. One guess. One guess only, please. We'll just do that. Thank you, Zach. Yep. Yeah. All right. Orange hats in. John Evans is in. All right. One million. One million. All right, Zach, let's go ahead and throw up those stop signs. 
And we'll go back and check our winner. Had some, it was close. It was close. Very close. So I'm going to go back and take a look. I want to make sure. Winchester. Winchester's in the house. If you can get a guess in between 400 and 550. Oh, Zach already threw up the stop signs. Oh, sorry, Winchester. We just missed you. So let's go back. Well, I will show you guys who I will. There was one that was close. I don't know if I had anybody hit it right on the head. Oh, we got a couple of close, it looks like. Our number was 473. 473 was our number. And I see Robert Fogel has a 472. There's a 472 from Robert. I think there's another one, at least one more. Four seventy one. Oh, so close, Trevor. So close, Trevor. EDC journeys with a four seventy two. So I am seeing EDC journeys and Robert Fogel at four seventy two. That's what I am seeing. You got? Are you with me, Zach? That's kind of what I've got going on here. Yep, okay, he definitely does. Very good. Very cool. Very cool. Yep, okay. So, time for a playoff. So, Robert Fogel and EDC Journeys. You two are moving to round two. Fight. Um. Let's see here. So, let me write down a number. I'm going to write down this number. All right, Robert Fogel and EDC Journeys. Guess a number between 30 and 40. One number between 30 and 40. Closest, doesn't matter if you go over, closest wins. So between 30 and 40 for Robert and EDC Journeys. So we'll see what they come up with. 30 and 40 is your, is your spread. One number, EDC Journey says 37. And Robert says 31. All right, well, there you go. Our numbers was 30 to 40 and the number was 36. So congratulations, EDC Journey, but you are the closest. As I said, it didn't matter. It did not matter if you went over as long as you were the closest. So EDC Journeys, man, hit me up on, uh, we'll talk, hit me up on Instagram, we'll BS. Oh, sorry, Gino. So yes, congrats. You are the winner, my friend. You get some swag, you get a flashlight, you get the off-grid hoglet cool little cleaver knife. So thank you guys so very much for playing along. Great. Thank you guys so very much for joining me today. Huge shout out to you guys that uh, donated uh, in the super chat. Thank you very much to Little Fit Devil for becoming a channel member today. I greatly, greatly appreciate it. As I said before, guys, yeah, Trevor was close. Trevor was very close, KC. <laughs> he was very close. Um, but thank you guys so very much for everything that you've done for me and the channel, not only through the channel, but all the amazing gifts you guys have sent in. It just, man, that means the world to me, guys. I greatly, greatly appreciate you all. Huge shout out to our, yes. Oh, there you go. There you go. Zach's live. To... Is that your live, Zach? Zach just threw up a link. Don't forget about the lot giveaway tomorrow at noon. Very good. Yes, indeedy. Oh, yeah, because he's doing his... That's a super secret giveaway. Well, it's not so super secret anymore, I guess. <laughs> but very cool. Very cool. Zach, tomorrow, noon, on his channel, live. Uh, it is... It's that, that because that's how long uh, Clinton makes it. And 
that's why you're in timeout. Because you spam. <laughs> So, yes, right on. Zach Stuff's very cool. KPL giveaway noon tomorrow. Awesome. Very cool. I will be there. I'm sure a lot of these people will be there because who doesn't love Zach, right? So, thank you guys so very much for joining me this afternoon. I hope you have a fantastic rest of your weekend. You guys are absolutely awesome. Thank you so very much. Uh, don't forget, Little Fit Devil is live later on tonight as well, along with what Neves, uh, DTOM, and Lefty go live. They all go live at the same time. So just keep an eye out, guys. But thank you so much. Have a fantastic weekend. If you guys celebrate Easter, happy Easter. I hope you have a wonderful Easter with family and friends. If you don't, I hope you have an absolutely fantastic Sunday doing whatever it is you do, guys. So have a wonderful week. Come back here right next, right back here, here next week. Words are hard. Normal time, 10 p.m. Pacific time for another edition of Saturday Knife Live. Have a great week, all. I'll talk to you all later. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.